how you guys doing? Hope you're going to have an awesome day today, Earl Vers here. Can you do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. While you're at it, go ahead and push that bell for notifications out so you can get the scoop of my newest upcoming videos. Wow, okay, I've been dying to make this video ever since uh, the last previous episode of Legends of Tomorrow came out. I've had some pretty nice ideas about this and I thought it was actually pretty sad towards the ending. Let's talk about the Android Legends of Tomorrow, shall we? So, these Androids of Tomorrow were ruthless, but the thing is that two of the Legends, Android Legends, actually died, which was Zari and Astra. Now, Sarah was always sus about this Ava Doctor, and this Ava Doctor claims that she could bring back the legends that died back to life but she didn't she actually cremated them and they're actually android clones basically and so sarah she always questioned she started to question herself why she was actually attacking these soldiers now they weren't attacked just attacking these soldiers they're trying to uh kidnap the general and by kidnapping the general they had a plan well, I'll get into that. She was actually surprised to hear Astra's voice on the comms because she for sure thought that Astra had died and also Zarya that had died. So she was confused at that. So her memory started putting some puzzles to pieces together. Now, after that fact, the matter is they found out that, well, uh, let's just say that Sarah got shot in the arm and obviously she was going to get patched up, but Sarah did not get unconscious. She made sure that the serum did not get inside of her so that she could witness and watch what the Dr. Ava was doing. She took out a metal alloy outside of her arm and replaced it. She told uh, Zari exactly what happened, but when they, uh, I suppose, uh, killed thousands of people in Chernobyl accident, one of them survived, and let's just say that uh, Sarah, she had to kill her, but meanwhile, Zari was looking at Gideon's mainframe. She found a lot of secrets of what was going on. As soon as Sarah got back on the Wave Rider, she shared the secrets, and let's just say that the legends Sarah after, they were actually human. They are the good ones, and Zari and Sarah found out that they're androids, so they confronted uh, Dr. Ava, and this Ava, well, she actually complied. She actually didn't um, disagree or lie about anything. She told the truth. She said that everything Sarah has said, you guys about being androids, is correct and it's true. Now, these androids are not too bright. For androids, they are supposed to be bright. Now, I suppose... Basically, they do not care. They're androids. You know, they know that they're the bad guys. Meanwhile, Zari gets corrupted by Gideon and Gideon implants some inhibitors inside uh, Zari's uh, mainframe brain, which means she's like an evil Gideon as well herself. So they outnumber her, outrule them because they want some upgrades and they really don't care if they're androids now and they're actually having a fun time. So... They whammy Sarah because she's not part of it. She does not want to be part of this Legends crew that's just, uh, I guess you could say they're abomination, but they really don't care. Now Sarah's uh, memory is wiped out and she's nothing but an assassin. So this is where my theory comes in. All this time, this answered Captain Sarah on the Wave Rider. Well, she was always following orders like a good, uh, I guess you could say, soldier. But when the time came when she had to sacrifice a thousand people, that's when she started to question herself about this Dr. Ava. Like, am I really actually going to sacrifice thousands of people? And how did she even actually bring back uh, two legends that are supposed to be dead, Zari and Astra? So what if she gets her memory back by killing a lot of people, of course, and also fighting, not to mention uh, falling orders. 
Something will spark back. She'll get her humanity back slowly. You never know. Anything could happen. Especially with the general. What she had to do with the general. Uh, if they keep on making these cunning and crazy plans such as this. I'm pretty sure that she'll get her memory back real soon. And she'll find out that what she did was very devastating and tragic in the Chernobyl accident. So as soon as she's still a mindless uh, android still working for them, her memory will gain back together, but it's going to be difficult because she's going to be outnumbered. Even though she is a ruthless killer, her instinct she needs to, well, pause, stop, take a break, and think about what she's doing first. Because she's still programmed into killing and it's going to be difficult for her to actually stop. But what if she actually does stop? What if she actually takes control over her own body, over her own mind too as well? Well, she's strong enough in order to do that because she did it once before. And what if she actually went inside a time portal and time ported uh, wherever the main legends were? Now, this is where... Uh, the plan comes where they're going to end up destroying the android legend so android sarah is actually going to visit uh the regular legends of tomorrow they are supposed to be the good ones of course and she's going to confirm every single information that she stored from them and they do have a lot of upgrades which means these legends of tomorrow are going to have one hell of a fight against a lot more androids and they're even more powerful so you need to get these androids into one place most likely the wave rider if they're on the wave rider you could destroy the wave rider most likely she'll sacrifice her life android sarah in order to stop uh these androids from causing havoc throughout the timeline or they could uh, get the evil gideon reprogram her and retake over the ship so that is my theory video of today hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys are new subscribe to the channel as always and yes i'll see you all in the next video of course